What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clay's Coins. I believe competence creates confidence, so I'm here to bring you some information, education, and better understanding of cryptocurrency and the stock market. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not an indication nor suggestion to buy, hold, or sell any cryptocurrency or stock talked about in this video or on this channel. I will never contact you guys down below with a Telegram, a WhatsApp, any investment opportunity, anything like that. Those are all scams. Those are all spam comments. Report those if you can. Uh, I try to take care of them and remove them, but these bots are relentless. I mean, they're worse than the Instagram bots back in the day. I don't really mess with Instagram anymore, but but I see enough of the bots on Twitter, and I remember them on Instagram back in the day. As soon as you'd post, it was just it was just Instagram thought bots. But today we're gonna be looking at some micro caps. Continuing this micro cap series, we're gonna be doing part two of our two hundred and fifty million dollar market cap to five hundred million dollar market cap, give or take a little bit. Um, obviously, some of you know about two. I'd say about two twenty five to like five. 25 is good range anywhere around that give or take about 25 mil uh, but we are continuing the micro cap series so let's get into it before we do guys I really need your help all I need you to do real quick is hit the like button and the subscribe button share this channel with anyone you know that likes cryptocurrency is interested in investing money or has ever asked you to borrow money if they're asking you to borrow money and you're sick and tired of giving them money go ahead and uh, share this channel with them maybe they can learn how to make some money with crypto off my not financial advice but I'll give you a moment real quick to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and share this link Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, the first cryptocurrency we're going to be looking at today is Voyager Token, ticker symbol VGX. Uh, it sounds kind of weird to, for me to say Voyager Token just because Voyager is such a massive exchange and has been for so long and uh, such a big, well-known broker, uh, in my opinion anyways, in the United States it is, at least for me in the Northeast. I've known about Voyager for a little bit. Let me know where you're from in the comment sections down below and uh, you know, see if anyone is from where you're from. It's a, such a massive place. There's so many different places that we all come from. Everyone has their own story, but at the same time, it's a small world, and you can end up meeting people, uh, which is pretty cool, unless they're promising 32 Bitcoin in two weeks with Mrs. Jones. Either way, uh, Voyager token, that's the cryptocurrency we're talking about. The market cap is $315 million. It's down 10.33% on the day. A lot of things are. Today has been a red day, um, you know, at the time of this recording. It hasn't been very good for many cryptocurrencies or stocks today. However, the big wowser with Voyager token is right over here. 100% of the max supply is, or of the total supply, is circulating. There's only 1 million more for the max supply, just about. Actually, closer to 900,000. And uh, that's not going to be put into the circulation because that's 100% taken care of. And with a circulating supply of only 278 million, this thing could absolutely rock it. We're talking like 10x from here. That's minimum. A $3 billion market cap for an exchange token? I mean, come on. We know about Kronos. We know about Binance. We know about Uniswap, PancakeSwap. We know about all these different SushiSwap, Luna, any uh, loop ring, any exchange token that you can get at it usually does pretty well. Not financial advice. All obviously always do your own research. Every exchange or broker is different. Any wallet is different. Every asset is different. Just be careful and uh, keep an eye out. For those who don't know, Voyager is an online broker and it's really popular among big money. Um, it's verified. The aud it's audited by Quantstamp, uh, which is a massive, serious audit auditor. And you know, if you're curious of why. Voyager is so small, but it's being audited by such a well-known, um, reputable company. It's because there's big money into Voyager. Uh, big money uses brokerages like this, and uh, it only ha it only has around 60 different cryptocurrencies available for trading, but it offers 100% commission-free transactions appealing to the very large trans transactions and the whales moving. Um, you know, as they say, when a whale makes a splash, everyone kind of feels the ripple. And when there's so many different cryptocurrency options, there's so many leeways and, um, you know, hoops that people have to jump through. 
and different things they kind of uh, gray areas if you will loopholes that they can get through until those loopholes are closed when they're halfway through squeezing and then you have a whole exchange go down it seems like Voyager is not do taking any risks they are really you know eye on the prize they're they have what's called um, if it's not broken don't fix it there that's what they're doing they're making a good push doing it um, they recently listed on coinbase any cryptocurrency that's listed or launched in the past six months at this point i haven't been too worried about it because we really are we've been in a bear market i mean realistically we were looking at sixty thousand dollar bitcoin and now we're hoping for you know maintaining thirty eight thousand dollar bitcoin there's a big difference there that's a massive dip in price that's a 33 percent minimum from sixty thousand to forty thousand it's 33 percent right there so it's you know that's a i believe a bear market is 10 to 12 percent however generally in stock market terms you're talking about a much longer time period crypto market who knows hopefully it isn't a crypto winter i don't believe so i think uh now that we know what's going on with the fed rates and there's not as much fear uncertainty and uh doubt we've taken care of the uncertainty the fear has kind of been subsided at this point everyone's starting to get kind of used to it or you know numb you know disconnecting from it because we've seen it we're we're over it at this point it's like a toxic relationship you just doesn't even surprise you at this point. With founders coming from legendary companies like Warner Music and Morgan Stanley and fintech giants like E-Trade and Uber, you can start to see why big money has a lot of faith in Voyager. Uh, don't let that scare you away though, because I can see this token 5x to 10x by the end of this year. Yeah, the end of quarter four. And that's because if you have any sort of adoption, any sort of pickup, you're going to see this absolutely skyrocket when you have a circulating supply that's 100%. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, not financial advice. Always do your own research, but check out Voyager. Now, this all-time chart looks incredibly bullish. If you guys don't think so, I don't know what to tell you. And when you compare the one-year chart, which is like this, to the all-time chart this is why i say when in doubt zoom out because the one year makes it look like this is just a downtrend when you look at the all-time you can see this is a long term almost on a one year scale higher highs so this is uh this is not a bet freestyle video but this is new cipher ticker symbol nu New Cypher has a focus on end-to-end -end encrypted data sharing with KMS and access control for public blockchains, um, decentralized storage solutions. New, New Cypher is much more secure and protected than traditional blockchain projects due to the decryption technology they use called PRE, P -R -E, which stands for proxy re-encryption, and uh, that's the technology that they've revolutionized and has worked very well for them um it looks to be a back end behind the scenes type banger of a token to be completely honest it's one i've checked out before um it's one that i was looking at when it was right around the 60 cent mark i believe yeah right right in here um this year and then i figured i'd let it go you know watch and see what was going on with it see if we'd see a little bit of a you know when you explode from 29 cents up to a dollar 40 a dollar fifty that's a massive price pump i was letting that cool off seeing where we'd go and uh we ended up hitting this hitting this big dip macroeconomically everything kind of dipped it looked as of right here like we were looking at posting some higher highs however uh you know the world had different plans so when different countries choose to do different things it's very hard for developing new cryptocurrency projects to really get their grip and get a good footing and get some momentum picked up without getting it smacked back down and with that overall uh, fear and uncertainty in the entire world, you know, let alone the crypto market. All in all, guys, 212 million for the market cap. Uh, the fully diluted is 1.1 billion. That's because they do have quite a bit more tokens they're going to be putting in to the circulating supply. Um, you know, at least about five to 600,000 uh, upwards of about three billion. I'm not sure exactly what the tokenomic distribution is. However, that's why you know it made this list because even at 212, give or take about 25 mil any day, uh, the fully diluted is at 1.1 billion. So I had a harder time listing it with the smaller micro caps, but we'll go ahead and move into the next one. Now here is an OG cryptocurrency that I need not introduce, guys. 
Uh, you know it. If you don't by now, I don't know. You haven't been paying attention to NFTs, DeFi, um, any type of anything really in the crypto space for a long period of time. Sushi Swap. Um, I just noticed it's on 369,000 watch lists, which is always nice. Um, you can take a look at that for yourself. Sushi Swap, ticker symbol Sushi, just like the food guys. If you guys observe the three month chart, you'll believe this is a buy zone and you could hope for a flip towards the $5 range and you'd be correct. Uh, however, I remember a time not long ago when $5 was a buy zone. I mean guys, as you can see on the yearly chart, uh, as of last fall, you were lucky to see Sushi at like $7. I mean, looking at it right in here, October 10, 11, I mean, it traded all through here, all through the month of September and October between 9.20 and upwards of $13, and it wasn't even crazy price movement, you know what I mean? This is what I would consider crazy price movement, up and from, you know, 6.30 upwards of 14, that's crazy price movement. Rel before this spike right here, relative to the movement prior, I would consider that a trading channel. But once we had this big drop, you know, things cooled off, things changed pace, we kind of dropped through the floor and into the basement, and uh, we're trying to find some find some real support down here. But Sushi Swap, it hasn't gone anywhere in a long time, and I don't see it going anywhere except up. Um, I, I have a lot of faith in Sushi. I'm a big fan of Sushi, to be completely honest, and uh, here we are. The, I, like, like many cryptocurrencies can say at this point, here we are, um, it, you know. It is what it is. If we can turn around the newfound resistance at the $4.50 zone, um, if we can turn that into a support and it shows strength, we can easily witness a rocket to the $7 to $8 range when we're talking about sushi. And if you want to get into it right here, um, this big drop off today definitely didn't help whatsoever. As you can see, down 13%. Sushi definitely got hit a little bit harder than some of the other cryptocurrencies, but that's what I've been saying, guys, is especially with these micro caps if bitcoin drops three four percent maybe five percent in a day you're gonna see a lot of micro caps drop like 10 15 25 percent that day it's it's very very choppy waters i would not this is not beginner stuff you know what i mean if you guys have never even gone on chain and purchased things i would not be playing around with micro caps i would not be playing around with meme coins anything like that um it's just so volatile out there not financial advice do your own research obviously if you put you know say you put a thousand dollars into a random meme coin and it with 100 or 1000 excess good on you uh buy lambo paul walker it whatever you want to do but i'm just not going to recommend that you invest 80 percent of your portfolio into micro caps that's just that's not my move, um, not financial advice, but I will point out before we move on to the next cryptocurrency that the circulating supply on Sushi is beautiful at 127 million. Uh, the max supply is 250 million, a quarter of a billion, which is finite in comparison to a lot of them. And when you look at $3.2 billion total value locked and a market cap fully diluted of 562 million, these are all big, big green flag bullish indicators that once this market turns around we can see sushi primed and ready to pop now we're going to close out the video with two play to earn gaming metaverse cryptocurrencies um starting off with one that's a little lesser known mine's a delarnia um it actually just had its main net launch so it may be a little better known and even being down 16.46 percent on the day it had a massive spike during its main net launch as you can see here, um, at the time of this recording, it's sitting at $1.20. However, prior to the launch, we were looking at about $0.94, cents, and that rocketed up to about $2.13. Whenever you have a launch or anything like that, an ICO, any listing, it's going to be a big price pump. Anytime you have new eyes and new buyers on your product, more people can access to it, can have access to it. Whether or not it's sustained, you're going to have that immediate reaction. And even if it's a buy the rumor, sell the news event, sometimes that happens. So it's always good, even if you're not necessarily interested in long-term holding the project, um, being able to pick up ICOs and IDOs and you know IPOs, different things like that. Um, I don't drink, but I'd say IPAs. Um, anything like that is going to be good for you guys. You know, as a little bit of an investment opportunity. But I have heard that it's actually a pretty fun game. Mine's a Delarnia. 
ticker symbol D-A-R. Um, it doesn't look the best in my opinion. However, I do have a friend in real life who has played it and said it was pretty fun and uh, he made a little bit of money. Um, he was making over $10 an hour US USD, so that's just playing a game, you know what I mean? That's the cool thing is like, um, you know, everyone wants to be a streamer on Twitch to be able to game and make money, but when it's coming to play to earn, that's literally the whole entire premise is being able to game and make money and have an entire functioning real world economy as a part of your game. And it's almost multi-dimensional at that point because you're mixing the relative economy, the real economy in, in real life, your money with digital in-game money, which is also cryptocurrency, with which kind of bridges the gap. I don't know. You guys remember the uh, episode? I think it might have been a special of Fairly Odd Parents and he like Timmy Turner goes into the computer and it goes into like 3D. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comment section down below if you get that reference. But if my friend keeps playing it, um, I might actually check it out. And if I do, I'll let you guys know firsthand how it is, what the pay a wall up front is different things like that uh i know with certain games like axie infinity the upfront cost is a little bit much and especially at this point um not financial advice everyone's dipped on axie most players have dipped on axie i would not tell you to sell anything and everything but if i was an axie investor i would be thinking about selling everything just saying. With the launch and recent volatility creating a lot of chart noise, I feel like the $0.90 cent to $1 range looks like a good buy zone as of right now, and I see us testing the $2 to $2.50 range very soon. Alright guys, wrapping up the list and our other gaming cryptocurrency. Um, it's our other play to earn, and it's also a metaverse gaming cryptocurrency. Um, this one hits different though. I mean, this one really does. Uh, touted as arguably the first AAA blockchain game ever, we have Alluvia. Ticker symbol ILV. If you guys have seen this channel, you know I've talked about this one before. It's one of my, if not my favorite, up and coming uh, blockchain game or game whatsoever just because of the entire premise. I'm into crypto, I'm into blockchain games, so I'm very excited for this. It, it hits all the wow factors for me, so uh, I can't wait. From what I hear, the closed beta just ended, and from what I've been told, it was it went pretty well. I'm not gonna, I can't, I don't want to release too much, divulge too much, I don't know what's going on because it's a closed beta, but not, you know, financial advice. I've heard it went very well and the game looks excellent, uh, which is all the confirmation bias I need to go ahead and throw it in the video uh, because I absolutely love this and I can't wait. It looks to be the best game built on Ethereum ever, let alone AAA blockchain game. Star Atlas might look a little bit better, but that's going to come out in like, what, 2040? So by the time we're actually on the moon and doing interplanetary travel, Star Atlas will be out and you'll be able to play it once you go home on Earth on vacation or some stupid-ish. Alluvium features yield farming, a decentralized exchange, and numerous DeFi applications, which in reality is not all that surprising. The co-founders are brothers with the founder of the DeFi protocol, Synthetix. If you guys can't tell by now, I can't wait for this game to come out, and uh, I really hope it doesn't fall into the cyberpunk or no man's sky type promise star atlas realm um i really hope not i don't believe so in my opinion from everything i've seen it seems like they really have their head on their shoulders uh they want to get this game out but they're taking their time they're not buying into the hype they're keeping just enough you know what i mean it seems like they know what they're doing which seems like a rare thing in today's crypto world which shouldn't be but hey uh you know it's just one of those things oh yeah and if you weren't convinced by now the max supply is uh 10 million and circulating right now is 650,000 yeah six six hundred and fifty thousand yeah i said that right you you didn't mishear that um looking at an all-time high of over eighteen hundred dollars and a current price of 459 this is one with a current market cap of 298 we could see this absolutely explode when you have a launch i mean if you remember, if you recall what we just witnessed with the Mines of Dalarnia launch, um, there was a big pop. So think about having 500 bucks into this to get a whole alluvium, um, not financial advice, but if you did, and then seeing that 10x or something like that up to five grand, nothing wrong with that, right? When it's all said and done, 
metaverse gaming play to earn cryptocurrency and games are really going to change lives in more ways than one it's going to give people new avenues of dedicating their time and their energy into something and feeling reward from it and being able to showcase and show off their attributes and accolades that they've earned throughout in the form of nfts or different items and then you know being able to sell that and actually getting monetary gain and changing their real lives financially for the better for the future um it's and this this game i really think can be one of them a lot of the games that are being developed have an opportunity but oh yeah and happy one year birthday to coin market cap so other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video i'm going to be continuing the micro cap series and i was thinking about i know i've said before that i was going to wait until i was at like 10,000 subscribers or so to do live streams but i'm thinking i might do live streams here pretty soon i did a discord live the other night and spent about two and a half hours on there i had my screen shared um had technical or user error and couldn't figure out how to get my actual camera on there but you know we were sharing the screen and looking at different charts and cryptocurrencies it was it was pretty cool being able to you know communicate with uh people live in the discord different things like that so i'll probably end up doing some youtube lives here pretty soon i'll let you guys know though how it ends up looking and uh when i'm going to be doing that i'll post on youtube i'll post on twitter go ahead and follow me at real clays coins um instagram too if you want i'll post on there as often but definitely follow the twitter at real clays coins hit the like button the subscribe button if you haven't already that bell notification so when i do live stream you don't miss a notification and you, you get an alert saying i'll be going live in however long or that i'm live right then so other than that guys put a flexing emoji in the comment section down below as you know and stay hydrated stay healthy and uh, wish me luck because i just picked up this pack of uh okay let's get this to uh focus a little bit here picked up this pack of UFC cards and uh, uh, I I've, I almost don't even want to open it just because um, having the opportunity to pull like a Sean O'Malley when he's young, um, getting a autograph card, I don't know. So Clay's cards, once I get like 100k on this channel, I'll probably start a secondary channel and start opening up some cards. Uh, I actually picked up one of these Flux the other day. It was the first time I've gotten this, uh, this brand of card. Let me know if you guys have checked that out. Pretty cool card art. They're all holographic. So um, other than that, guys, you know the drill. I, you know, I'm just ranting about cards. I can do that all day, though. That's why I started a YouTube channel and talked to someone about this stuff. So hit the like button, hit the join button, hit the subscribe button, the comment button, you know, all the buttons. Go ahead and smash them. Thank you, guys.